scrapped plans to move 2,000 jobs to Florida over what it called the changing business conditions in the state. The decision comes as relations between the entertainment giant and state governor Ron DeSantis grow increasingly tense. The disagreement started when the company criticized Florida legislation that restricts discussing sexuality and gender identity in primary schools. And soon after, Mr. DeSantis stripped Disney of uh -huh. its self-governing powers I, I'm a good in dog the Walt dad. Disney World Entertainment Complex. Dude, I'm such a fucking good dog dad. I called it immediately. Yeah. She got bored. She played with her toys. She's like, okay, I can't, I can't make myself happy. Saying what he called a woke company didn't deserve such rights. Now, Disney has sued the state over the decision. Well, let's speak to Anthony Zercher, a North American correspondent who's live in a town called Celebration, originally built by the Walt Disney Company in the shadow of the theme park. Anthony, just this is a long running issue, isn't it? So just take us through this sort of latest stage. It is. It's, it's been going on now for over a year. But this latest stage uh, is Disney's decision to pull an investment, not in the theme park that's very close uh, to me here in Celebration, but in Orlando. They were going to bring white collar jobs, some tech related jobs, 2,000 of them to this area. And for the people I was talking to around here, they were looking forward to that because they wanted to have, Florida wanted to have some jobs that weren't directly related to the hospitality. And okay. So, first of all, I'm a little conflicted. Because on the one hand, companies do shit like this all the time. Amazon literally did this for uh, tax breaks. They, they hunt. They rarely ever bring, like, good jobs. They actually relocate people. So they're not hiring from, like, the actual population on the ground. It's not jobs for Floridians usually. It's usually a low-cost site that they uh, created for tax benefits. So that's precisely what the fuck they're doing in this circumstance, just like Amazon did. But also, on the other hand, this looks so bad to, like, moderates, liberals who like the Disney brand in general and don't really care and don't really understand what corporations are doing, and certainly conservatives who look at that and go, wait, that's money leaving Florida, you fucking idiot. I believe it was California jobs that were being relocated. Yeah, there you go. It makes incredible amounts of sense. Of course it was. Yeah. So, Ron DeSantis now has to fucking behave like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Because if you live by your fucking values and your values happen to be like, I'm going to fuck over a multiple billion dollar mega corporation that keeps fucking the state alive, okay? Now you have to turn and tell your constituents who have been conditioned into thinking corporation good, government bad, that like what you're doing is, is actually good and not bad in the way that you were trained to believe it is. And what Ron DeSantis is doing is kind of bad. Mostly because it's not for a specific purpose like getting a fair shake, making a corporation pay better taxes, or forcing a corporation to not get tax subsidies and actually offer uh, well-paying jobs. Like, it's not like that. It's just simply, you did gay, and I don't say gay. I hate that. So now I'm just going to fucking, uh, I don't know, use whatever kind of regulatory power I have to, like, stop you. And the reality is, conservatives hate go uh, government interfering in business. Liberals don't even like it all that much. And on top of that, people like Disneyland way more, Disney World, way more than they like Ron DeSantis or any politician, for that matter. Tourism industry, they wanted to expand a little bit into the tech and, and white-collar corporate sector, and this is Disney showing that they can bring some pain to Florida if the, uh, Ron DeSantis continues to try to punish Disney for what they view their free speech rights expressing their disagreement with Florida law. So, I mean, you can't talk about DeSantis without talking about the sort of election. Um, we're assuming or expecting that he will announce his candidacy at some point soon. Just wondering how this is going to play with voters. 
Well, you know, I've been talking to voters here in Orlando, and uh, you know, most of the people I talk to either work for Disney or still work for Disney. I mean, it, the reach of uh, the company here in Orlando is very deep. Uh, and a lot of the people I talk to have very real concerns about whether Ron DeSantis is going too far and leaning into cultural conflict, cultural war issues rather than focusing on economics. But I think that's a calculation that Ron DeSantis is making, that their Republican primary voters, the one who will determine who the presidential nominee will be, are more interested in cultural issues, taking on woke corporations and woke government rather no, than not. catering to big businesses. That may be, at least in Ron DeSantis' evaluation, where the primary no, voters not. are... No, they're not. Let me tell you something. Being woke, being anti-woke is a distraction. It is supposed to serve the purpose of a distraction. And that distraction is to shift your attention away from actually harming corporations and their profit margins with regulatory control. So when you actually take that distraction and turn it into additional corporate control, additional regulatory control over uh, or, and government oversight, you fucked up. The moment that people perceive you as fucking up their bag or fucking up their consumer experience is the moment that you have fucking lost. Because in the United States of America, corporations are fucking king. If one more person asks me what the fuck Austin is doing, okay, I am going to launch you in a spaceship into Mars on a one-way fucking ticket. I don't know what Austin is doing. I don't give a fuck about what Austin is doing right now. Shut the fuck up! I'm not his dad, okay? Oh my God, Chad. My cousin is a senior advertising manager for Disney. He said Disney's currently paying for anyone that moved to Florida to move back to Cali if they want and pushing for work for home big time for 65K employees. They're also shutting down the Star Wars Hotel in September. Uh-oh. Shut the fuck up, Hadan. The world doesn't revolve around you. Yeah, except on this broadcast, it revolves around whatever the fuck news I want to cover, and that doesn't currently revolve around Austin. What did I do? I don't know. People are being fucking annoying about you doing like a like a a show for Cash App or something with like a Bitcoin prize. So they see cryptocurrency and they fucking lose their minds. I, I don't give a shit, okay? Start now. They're not the uh, corporate voters, not the big business, uh, small government voters that, that would vote in Republican primaries in years past. Who's going to win in a battle between Disney and, and Florida? Who's going to win, Ron DeSantis or Disney? <laughs> Uh, Disney has very deep pockets, and they've been in fights like this before, and they've had the endurance to last. I was uh, talking with someone who has platforms with Disney in the past, and she said they are a very powerful adversary. They're a good friend to have on your side, but they're willing to wait out Ron DeSantis. So I think it's, that's it's going to be a tough fight for Ron DeSantis, I think. It's going to be really interesting. And any sort of reaction from uh, the rest of the states, or is this very much seen as a, a real Florida issue, a real Florida tussle? Well, you know, I think Ron DeSantis is trying to make this into a national issue. He's, he's making this the centerpiece of his nesting campaign, that he's willing to take on vested interests, vested corporate interests, even when it comes at an economic price. So uh, I think when we see him, if we see him announce his campaign soon, I think this will continue to be a centerpiece of that, that he has the backbone to stand up to even a, uh, a company as powerful as Disney and see it through to the end. So I don't think we've heard the end of this on either side. Anthony, thank you so much. Really interesting stuff. Thanks. And yeah, that's great. Like, Ron DeSantis is fucking so cooked. He is so cooked. He took on a corporate battle that is way, way too big for, to swallow, okay? And not only that, but also, 
He's doing it for the dumbest reasons. I, I just like, it's so bad. It's so fucking stupid for him. Awesome. I love that. Well, Disney is Santos now canceling plans for a new campus outside of Orlando. Ali Canal is here with the details on this, along with Rick Newman joining in on the conversation, talking about the political implications. Ali. Hi, Akiko. Now, Disney didn't specifically say this was because of the governor, but you can probably surmise that the DeSantis drama played a significant role. According to an internal memo obtained by Yahoo Finance, Josh Demaro, who chairs the Parks, Products and Experience Division at Disney, told employees today that the company, which had been building that new campus in the Lake Nona region of Orlando, was now scrapping those plans. So no more construction on that campus and no more relocation requirements since about 2,000 California-based employees were going to have to relocate to Florida. Demaro saying, quote, given the considerable changes that have occurred since the announcement of this project, including new leadership and changing business conditions, we have decided not to move forward. Now, the relocation plans were first announced in July 2021 under then-CEO Bob Chapin. Another example of Ron DeSantis moving in, in a way that makes absolutely no sense is the anti-immigration bill that he put forward where he uh, said he was going to find businesses up to $10,000 per undocumented immigrant that they hire. Remember that. Also, by the way, that mask photo, it's over. Remember that. They will use that against him too. So you, you got like the culture war shit too that uh, cancels each other out. Um, <clears throat> let me explain uh, something to you. Okay. Ron DeSantis moves like a person who looked at all the culture war issues and thought that like, oh, you're supposed to actually follow through on said culture war issues. Like it's like Elizabeth War he's like the Elizabeth Warren of the Republican Party. Who also genuinely is uh, you know, doing more than Elizabeth Warren ever could. Like, it's very odd. He's moving like a guy who genuinely thinks that, like, this stuff is going to work well with his base. He fell for his own grift. Like, he grifted so hard, I feel like he fell for it. No, Chowder Kai did not sploot. Ideologically fascist? He's not. No, he's not. No. You think the guy who went to fucking Harvard and Yale is ideologically fascist? No. He is a Republican Party machine guy, okay? No, he's not. He just wants to be the fucking president. He is a neoliberal, just like every other fucking Republican Party cutout is. I mean, obviously, they're like fascists in the sense that, you know, most American politicians are. But he's not like genuinely like, yeah, I think we should fucking kill gay people or some shit. No, he's just doing that because he thinks that works for his base. And to a certain degree, saying that works for your base, but actually fucking brook burning and actually fucking canceling like random books that kids are reading in schools is entirely different. That works well for the fringes. But every single time there's another psychotic like Moms for Liberty Karen that comes to the fucking Parent Teachers Association and spits on everyone while they're fucking screeching about homosexuality inside of books. That is a representation of your loyal soldiers and all of the fucking moderate suburban moms that are like kind of liberal will see that and think, oh, that's who I associate Ron DeSantis with? Yeah, fuck this guy. It's what I like to call... The Rick and Morty conundrum. You might have appreciated Rick and Morty as a show, but its fan base started making you resent it. And then you started realizing maybe Rick and Morty isn't that great in general anyway. That's how it works. Politics works in a similar capacity. You might think you like Ron DeSantis. You might have voted for him. You think, oh, he kept Florida open, and I really liked that. I really appreciated that. You know, it was helpful. Florida was in a better opposition than any other place in the country. I really like that. But as time passes and Ron DeSantis keeps smelling his own fucking farts and thinks like, oh, these people like me, no matter what I do, I'm going to take on 
uh, Disney, I'm going to hurt my own constituents and small business owners that hire undocumented migrants by actually uh, finding them $10,000 and I'm going to make abortion illegal all of a sudden when you do that and also simultaneously your fandom that actually cares about that are fucking insane, psychotic, like genuinely, truly mentally ill people coming to like fucking parent teachers association meetings, coming to school board meetings, uh, picketing outside of fucking abortion clinics and shit. Those guys are gross. Most moderates see that and go, ew, I don't want to be associated with that. I don't like that at all. Ron DeSantis is greatly misunderstanding his base. I know everybody in Florida is crazy, but they're not that schizophrenic. Okay. Yeah, he did get elected. He got elected because he was anti-COVID restrictions. But that's it. That's very different than like fucking the Disney bag up uh, or even hurting Disney in general. Like even conservatives like going to fucking Disney, dog. What do you mean? How about this Ron DeSanta guy just stay in his lane and worry about his bag? He's not. with the employee campus originally set to open between 2022 and 2023 that was eventually delayed to 2026 and now of course that is no longer a uh, tomorrow saying that disney still has plans to invest 17 billion and create 13 thousand jobs over the next 10 years in orlando he said disney still has plans to do that but remember just last week during the earnings call bob Iger got very frustrated with the desantis drama and basically said does governor desantis not want us to invest in the state of Florida. So this is just another development in that ongoing saga. Certainly is. Rick, what are the political implications here? Obviously, not good news you wouldn't think here for Governor DeSantis. And it comes as he's apparently preparing to say formally that he's going to run for president next week. Um, uh, Bob Iger, the Disney CEO, has said that DeSantis and his policies are... Fucking idiot doesn't even realize corporate media is so corporate media is designed to defend corporations and their bottom line. You fucking idiot. They're, they're not there to defend the Republican party. You idiot. You fucking dumbass. You got like three hours of favorable coverage on Fox news. And you thought that like they would defend you or something. I think, are you stupid? The only reason why corporate media will defend Republicans is because Republicans defend corporations. The moment that you switch your attack and genuinely start hurting the bottom line of corporations, the media is literally professionals at this. They're literally not even thinking. These are talking points that they already have designed for every single other interaction. They don't give a fuck if you're Ron DeSantis, if you're a, a, a conservative, a Democrat, AOC, it doesn't matter. It's capitalism, motherfucker. Wake up. Look at the way that they're talking about. Look at the way that they're talking about Ron DeSantis right now. They're literally like, Disney is, is taking away 1 billion jobs from the state of Florida. Like, no, the fuck, it's not. I'm sure there were genuinely different reasons. No company ever actually moves like that. Disney did not pull their fucking secondary campus from Florida. That secondary campus from Florida was not going to actually be good jobs for Floridians. It was literally a relocation campus. And last but not least... I'm sure there are different reasons as to why they're pulling that campus and not because Ron fucking DeSantis, okay? If you think corporations move in this, like, petty uh, fashion, you're out of your fucking mind. They don't do that. But the media will portray it as that because that's a way better narrative for the media. That's a way better narrative against a guy who is currently hurting the fucking bag. Hurting the Disney bag. Okay? Understand this. This is very important for you to understand. Law Tesla moved in a petty move like that to Texas, though? No, the fuck it didn't. You, are you kidding me? Oh, really? You mean moving your entire uh, uh, assembly line to a low-cost state, a significantly lower-cost state than fucking California was actually because Elon was petty? What are you, crazy? It's taxes, brother. Come on.
You just described exactly why companies do this. What they claim they're doing is entirely different than the actual material reasons as to why they're doing it. Now, let me give you another example. When Walgreens started closing up retail shops in San Francisco, what did they do? They saw that there was a prevailing crime narrative. And instead of saying, oh, we're closing because, you know, this is too expensive. This real estate is too expensive for us. They said, oh, we're closing because there's too much criminal components in San Francisco. And it worked really well at the time because that was corporate PR. Oh, it's out of our hands. We really want to stay in San Francisco and we're not shutting down because there's one Walgreens in every fucking corner and that's unsustainable and we're not selling enough product. We're actually doing it because of crime. And the media ate that hook, line, and sinker because that's PR. These are people that went to fucking the new school that work at you know, Sunshine Sachs and numerous other PR institutions that specifically write this kind of copy for this reason. They're working on this 24-7. They're thinking like, how do we sell an actual downsizing in a way that actually shifts the attention away from us? And they do that, and then dumbasses on Reddit read that and go, Hassan, look at all the crime. You're wrong. Only for the Walgreens CEO in the next quarter to come out and say, hey, we might have overestimated the, the loss prevention part of the reason why we had to downsize in San Francisco. Yeah, that's how it fucking works. So if you want to come across as smart, just, you know, always remember, it's the money, stupid. That's the real reason why companies make moves they don't do it for fucking petty reasons they do it because they're getting tax breaks they do it because they're getting tax benefits and they downsize because they're not as profitable in certain areas as they once were at a time when real estate is incredibly expensive especially commercial real estate in a place like san francisco that's it it's not fucking crime these companies already have loss prevention built in to their profit margins they already have that uh, they, they already have a certain amount of loss that is baked in to exactly, it's called shrinkage. They know what it is. Or shrink, is it shrink or shrinkage? Anyway, they know. They know how this works. They know that there's a certain amount of uh, loss that's going to happen no matter what. It is, it's shrink, not shrinkage. Anyway are anti-business um and now they're showing it and i think you know if you look at the backdrop here uh desantis is used to pushing people around in florida and not getting a lot of pushback because uh he's you know he won he won uh re-election by a large margin and he, he has a lot of sway over the legislature so uh, people don't really want to cross him but he finally met somebody who's willing to push back um, and it's really making making him look small. Um, you know, Disney seems to have a solid legal case with regard to uh, that municipal district. DeSantis tried to take over to punish Disney. And, and let's just remind everybody: um, this goes th this dispute actually has nothing to do with business. It goes back to last year when Disney t took a stance against uh, the law that um, dictates what um, you know you're allowed to teach young kids about sex. Remember, one, one. It's always about business. Number one, media is there to side with corporations and defend the corporate profit margins. Two, it's always about the money, okay? These are two things that you should always remember. If you remember these and apply these evenly to every single fucking issue that you're looking at in corporate media, you will personally understand issues in a much better way than like 98% of Americans, okay? Okay. And gender. Didn't Disney oppose that because a lot of its employees wanted them to do that. Uh, and now DeSantis has uh, sought retribution against them. So I, I, this is just not going to play well. Um, DeSantis is not actually doing anything that's, that, that's for the business. It's, it's, he's just taking after businesses for political purposes, and he's going to have to explain this to a much broader audience. Yeah, and that's my follow-up there, Rick. I mean, it does feel like things have gotten a, a little personal between the governor and Disney. And if it really is about sort of trying to win those political points, how is this playing within or among potential voters within the party? 
We don't know. I mean, this. Uh, so we, we know there are polls. Um, the polls show that Donald Trump is actually leading DeSantis uh, by a pretty large margin among Republicans. But I but I think that, you know, Trump is obviously famous and well known. DeSantis less well known. Uh, but DeSantis has actually been drooping a little bit in those polls when he, sh you know, he should be rising as, um, you know, his donors come together and he develops some momentum. Um, so, uh, you know, DeSantis does seem to be vindictive um, and uh, he's going to have to either say, yes, that that's what be um, I behave that way, because that's what I think Republican voters want me to do on these uh, social issues and cultural issues where he's waging his culture war. Or uh, does he have to moderate that point of view somewhat? But he's he's he yeah, the problem is he actually thought he was supposed to wage a culture war and not that like. Culture war just is something that you say. You're supposed to vice signal, not act out on those desires. Because the one, for two reasons. It's stupid for two reasons. One, because if you act out on those desires on the culture war, and you actually end up pushing back and like harming corporate profits, you fucked up. The entire reason for the culture war is to not have uh, any of that government oversight over corporations. Deregulate, 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 and focus people's attentions elsewhere as corporations, you know, run your pockets. The second reason... <clears throat> the second reason as to why you're not supposed to follow through on what you perceive as the desires of the base or what you've conditioned the base to desire, like culture war issues, like on abortion, uh, you know, on anti-LGBT provisions, is because... As a Republican, when you genuinely act out the desires that you have cultivated, the, the things that you believe, the things that you believe that like your base wants from you, and it's usually never your base. It's just like some of the most loudest dumb motherfuckers in the room saying it. What you end up with is the abortion criminalization thing that's happening all around the country because conservative policies are pure vindictive. Conservative policies revolve around being just awful to marginalize people. So when you follow through on those policies, instead of just dangling it like a fucking carrot in front of the dumbass white supremacists or the dumbass fucking white evangelical Protestants, who sometimes are white supremacists, when you actually go from dangling the carrot to giving them the fucking carrot, all of a sudden you have a problem because everyone else is going to go, what the fuck did you just do? You really just fucking made abortion criminal? Are you out of your fucking mind, dude? You think conservative women don't get abortions, you fucking freak? You think conservative fathers don't have daughters that might get abortions or might have had an abortion? Those two reasons are the uh, reasons why Ron is fucking up right now. He's kind of stuck here because he's going to, uh, he can't really make nice with Disney, I don't think, without losing face. And this legal, this is now in the courts, and this is going to go on probably well past uh, the 2024 election. So this is going to be dogging him for months. Ali, what about the investor impact or lack thereof mm -hmm. that we have seen? Because we have talked about this time and time again, this ongoing feud. Now they're scrapping a billion dollar uh, plan here in Florida, yet we didn't really see it have a big impact on the stock. It doesn't. If you take a look at shares, they close slightly higher. They're trading flat in after hours trading. And you and I have discussed this, that investors don't really seem to care. They're shaking off this controversy when Disney did. There is no controversy for Disney, dog. Disney downsizing potentially is good for uh, their, their investors. They look at that and go, wow, they're reflect they are reacting to market conditions. They're downsizing. It's literally the market responds positively to companies that are downsizing when they don't even need to. Okay? That's so fucking stupid. Everyone's downsizing. There are companies currently downsizing because everyone's downsizing, for the record. Like, because everyone else in their competition, in their own sector is downsizing. Companies that don't need to are doing it. Why are they doing it? Because they respond not to market conditions, really, but instead to their fucking shareholders who make these demands from them. And when they do that, it's called efficiency. It's called elimination of redundancies. It's called efficiency. And all of those will yield positive uh, impacts. Uh, all of those will have uh, a positive impact on your ticker at the end of the fucking day. Ron DeSantis is a non-entity in the grand scheme of things. He thought he was the guy 
when he did not realize that he was just another servile dog for capitalist overlords. He thought he could, what, fight against that shit? What are you, crazy? You didn't even build a base on that kind of, like, anti-capitalist resentment. So why the fuck do you think anyone would support you, you dumbass? You're a Republican. The reason why AOC can get away with doing that shit is because at least her fucking base of black, brown, white, poor voters actually want that kind of thing from her. You're a Republican governor of the state of Florida. did report earnings, uh, the stock actually tumbled as much as 9%. It was the biggest intraday decline in six months the following day after Disney reported a drop in Disney Plus subscribers for their quarter. So that seems to be what investors I mean, that care drop about. Was insane. The subscriber count and the profitability. That drop was, what, what did they lose, like 250,000 subscribers or something? Like an insane amount. Not necessarily this ongoing fight with DeSantis. Now, if this were to incrementally impact. Oh, I was wrong. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say 4 million? It was even more than that? What the fuck? Oh my God, it was 4 million. What the fuck? The company which posted profit and revenue for the period that were in line with Wall Street estimates reported a loss of. Four million Disney Plus subscribers. Oh, it's because of... It, the, oh, fuck, you're right. It's because of India. God damn it, I forgot. You're so right. Yeah. It, the drop was because of the loss of the rights to show cricket in India, though. it's really It was really Indian viewers, yeah. Yeah, that's true. God, India is so massive. That's why I always say, like... YouTube doesn't give a fuck about live streaming because, like, they could literally turn a dial in India and make, like, 100x the amount of revenue that they're generating from live streaming in a day. <laughs> like, the whole fucking country unsubbed Lamau. <laughs> they were like, Ben Chot! Mother Chot! It's actually Urdu, I think, right? But still... I speak Urdu, it's both. Yeah. Dog, my parents are right here. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Look at me. I'm fucking white. A white guy speaking uh, Hindi, curse wo uh, Hindi curse words, dude? That's good. That's like, that's like fun. It's novel. Revenue or have some sort of direct impact to the parks business. I think that's when you could see investors care a little bit more. But for now, although there seems to be a lot of public interest in the story, the from fuck? a shareholder perspective, it isn't impacting.